Well, wheat rust is caused by a fungus called Puccinia graminis. Uh, the one that I work on is stem rust. Uh, there are many other kinds of rusts, but stem rust traditionally and historically has been the most devastating rust disease in the world. In North America, we used to have lots of stem rust problems back in the early 20th century. And enough problems that we actually built the research station here that I work at uh, back in 1926 to solve the problem. And so they actually did such a good job that the last epidemic that we had was back in the early 50s, 1953 to 55. And since then, our wheat readers here have developed lines with uh, uh, genes, a number of resistant genes that are stacked to control the disease. And so actually for about the last 50 years, we haven't had a problem. However, uh, about 10 years ago in Africa, we had a new strain called UG99. So you kind of think about it like we've talked about H1N1 for things like flu viruses. Well, UG99 is a different kind of a strain of stem rust. There are many different strains, okay? So right now, it's still in Africa. It's not here yet. But the problem is, is the UG99 strain is actually able to attack uh, almost all of the resistant genes that we use. And so UG99 is able to attack about 80% of wheat varieties worldwide. And that's why it's so dangerous, because it can actually infect most of them. And the thing that's most dangerous about UG99 or stem rust in general is that it's wind vectored. So you got very small spores that are produced and they get blown around by the wind and can grow a long distance. And you can get trillions and trillions of spores produced in a very, very short period of time. And so you have a crop that can look completely healthy, get infected with stem rust, and about two or three weeks later, it's basically bent over, broken off, and you can get almost 100% yield loss. And so that's why it's important to control UG99 is because it can cause a lot of loss, a lot of yield loss in a very short period of time.